gonna hail. Baby, baby, it Why, looks Pugsley, like you're a natural-born engineer, you little devil. You come inside, let me teach you how to drive and wheel. Oh, you gotta jump and jive and... Mister, this is a bad time to cut us off. Sorry, Gomez. I guess I had a power surge. Morticia must be using the waffle iron. I'm fine now. Ah, uh, burnt to perfection. Okay, Pugsley, here we go. A three-engine pileup with a derivative tanker cars full of flammable liquids. This is gonna be the best track ever! More power, Fester! Let's see if we can jump the bridge! Wow! Fester? Gomez? Gomez, what's going on? We all lost our power. Where's Fester? I guess I overloaded myself. Let's do it again. Fester, what is it? I've been... devolted. Something smaller. It's no use. I'm completely dead. Maybe you need a jump start. I'll phone the auto club. Wait! No need! <laughs> Fester, these jumper cables are a perfect fit. Are you sure this is going to work? Of course it will! Once the volts are coursing through your body again, you'll feel like a new man! Here, drink some battery acid. Good idea. Lurch, start her up! Got good height. Keep your legs together! Fester! 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 Here! Try to like this. Well? Not even an amp. This is more serious than I thought. We're gonna have to call in a professional. Oh, me. 
I think I'm at the wrong house. <sighs> Electrician. So glad you could make it on such short notice. We've lost all power in our fester. Your fester? Right over here. That's the most unusual lamp I've ever seen. Hmm. Could be a short. Where's the plug? He usually doesn't need one. That's the problem. Hmm. Hey, watch it! A very sensitive tonsil. Hey, hey, we. This is some kind of a joke. Uh, uh, what are you going to do back there? He must want to check our fuse box. He should have gone through the bookcase. It's quicker. I see he met Kitty Cat. He must have had another appointment. Let's see if the electric chair can give me a charge. All right, Fester. Are you ready? Hit me, Gomez! It's no use. I can't even hold a charge. I don't know what's wrong. The eels are charged. Excellent, Carita. Fester? We're ready for you. Electric eels. This ought to do the trick. Couldn't hurt. I think it's working. I've never seen them so charged up. I know. It's shocking, isn't it? Nothing. Oh. What a fine night to be outside. Volleyball, anyone? <laughs> I've still got it, eh, Fester? Whatever. What am I gonna do if I never get my electricity back? How am I gonna power the train crashes? Or help Wednesday with her science project? I have just the thing for the patient. What is it, Mama? A very special blend of goose grease, frog liver oil, and bat's blood. Mm, delicious. But I still don't feel any better. You're not supposed to drink that. That was a batch of my moon screen, MPF 30. Mama, you're strongest ever. I'll say. I'm beginning to get a tummy ache. <sighs> Poor Fester. You're just under the weather. Of course! Why didn't I think of it before? Hmm? Nice storm, Mama. Positively menacing. Uh, not my best, but it should do the trick. All we need is one good bolt of lightning. Some people have all the fun. <laughs> Need a doctor, Gomez. I'm feeling better already. See? Oh, I'm sorry, Fester. Did you want something? Never mind. Now, Fester, you need medical attention. Well, doctor, he's got a mossy gray pallor, his eyes are sunken, and he's listless. But despite outwardly being the picture of health, he's lost his voltage. Well, if you think that's best. Fester? You're going to the emergency room! <laughs> Goodness, I'm sorry 
I, I didn't hear the ambulance. I, what happened? Was there an accident? A chemical spill? You look horrible. Isn't she sweet? Such a flatterer. Thank you, but this isn't a social call. This man needs your help. <gasps> Is he still alive? I think she likes you. What are you here for? Oh, cut my hand. Think I might need stitches. Well, what about you kids? You don't look sick to me. Viral hemorrhagic fever. We don't have any symptoms yet, but that's when it's most contagious. <coughs> I'm a doctor, you know. I could fix your hand for you. Powdered earthworm ought to do the trick. No thanks. Well then, how about a whole new one? <laughs> now, before we begin, I should warn you that some of these tests can be quite expensive. Do you have insurance? We've got the best kind, money. Oh. Are these tests painful and invasive? Oh, sometimes. Then let's have a round for everyone. <laughs> Wednesday. Relax, Pugsley. If your heart keeps racing like that, how will I be able to hold on to it? Sponge. Scalpel. It's all right, thing. I know what I'm doing. Darling, I thought you were trying to quit. I can't help it. All this waiting is making me very nervous. I'm sorry, ma'am, but there's no smoking allowed in here. I'm sorry I didn't see the sun. Where's that smoke coming from? <laughs> Children, are you playing doctor again? No, we are playing thoracic surgeon. Excellent choice. They have the highest mortality rates. Fester Adams? Over here, doctor. Huh. Before you examine my brother, there's something I'd like to ask you. It hurts when I do this. It gets me every time. What do you think? Hmm. hmm. Genius! Fester, this man is a medical Mozart. You're obviously in very good hands. I don't know. Will it hurt? No, oh, of course not. But it will be dangerous, though, right? No, oh, completely safe. I don't like the sounds of this, Gomez. Doctor, I insist you stop this atrocious bedside manner and torture this patient at once. What do you think this is, the Middle Ages? Huh. Ah, if only. Come on, let's get you in an examining room. You know, Gomez, I've heard stories of hospitals cutting the wrong foot off a person, taking out organs needlessly, subjecting the patient to painful and unnecessary treatments. Do you think that could happen to Festo? We can only hope so, my darling. We can only hope. Now, let's take a look at you. Okay. Well, I'm afraid you have to take off that coat. Never! 
I'm very modest. Well, that's all right. We'll just work around it. Temperature? One? Hundred? No, just one. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. No pulse and no blood pressure? You have any more of those tasty little mercury sticks? You're not supposed to eat the thermometer. Most unusual. It is odd. It's usually a rumba. This case is one for the medical books. Or maybe Ripley's Believe It or Not. Ah, uh, Tish. That smell. What does it remind you of? The stench of illness. The sweet odor of antiseptic. Ah, the little hospital in the Congo where we took our guide after he was mauled by a man-eating lion. <laughs> our second wedding anniversary. Oh, Tish, the jungle was ripe with the scent of death, and it clung to you like a captivating perfume. Zula! Oh, you still have the arm of a fierce Zulu warrior. Yes, I think it's in the attic. We should bring it down. It would look lovely hanging above the armoire. <gasps> armoire, Tish. That's French. Darling, remember we're here for festival. But I promise when we get home, I'll have a splitting headache. Wonder what's taking Fester so long. Uh-huh. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a quick x-ray, take a deep breath and hold it. Okay, why don't you have a seat, Mr. Adams? It'll be a little while before these are developed. feel good. Fester, what did that doctor do to you? You look fantastic. Indeed, positively glowing. I do feel a lot better, but I want to make sure before we go. Did anybody bring a light bulb with them? Doctor, doctor we've got a heart attack over here. Asian is an Asian male, 40 years old, 150 pounds. I'll bake a bad wing cream pie. With your help, Fester? Sure. I've got enough juice to power the oven and the blender. Uncle Fester, we were worried about you. Where's Lurch? Uh, does this belong to you? <gasps> Lurch, where have you been? Someone mistook him for a, a corpse and wheeled him down to the morgue. Lucky stiff. Oh, 
come alive and serve me for all eternity. Yes, master. Ooh. Very nice, Wednesday. Now remember, whenever you create a life, you're responsible for it. I know, mother. Come, my minion. We have much work to do. Yes, Master. Good job, Fester. Glad to see you back to your old self. It's good to be back. Looks like we're in for quite a storm. Oh, goody. Put out the fire. Could this day get any better? They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together ooky, the Adams family. The house is a museum. When people come to see them, they really are a scream. The Adams family. The Adams family. Yeah.